Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, it's late at night, Sunday night. Um, it's a pajama reading. I've got my robe on and I'm going to give you guys a moon box reading tonight. Yay! This reading is for the collective. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much everyone for all of the love you guys give me every day. Like for real. Thank you. Thank you. You're my peeps my my family my friends out here thank you so much for everything you guys um and thank you so much to all of my subscribers and a big welcome to everybody new here for those of you who are new and you don't know what the moon box is the moon box just consists of a bunch of tidbits i've saved through the years okay so i'm going to shake up the box and then we're, we're going to go through the messages together so cover your ears this is going to be loud here we go okay. all right already i'm seeing something that wants to come out so we're just going to set that aside and i don't want to see what i'm reaching for here Oh boy, something heavy. Okay, someone's out of time. Time is up. I feel like um, there's some physical fights going on in the background. Okay, you know something about sports too. The whoever your person is, they could like sports or they could like something like watching boxing or wrestling. But um, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like this is a karmic situation that's come to an end. It's come to an end, but if you look at this, oh my gosh, you, you're, you got to be kidding. This is their wheel of fortune, okay? This is the wheel of fortune for these people. Um, and it's not supposed to look like this, okay? And if you notice on the bottom here is this guitar and this guitar says it's it stands for misery so they're both hanging on to each other i'm kind of getting the sense that these two are codependent on each other i don't know if they have some kind of addiction with each other maybe they're afraid to be apart this could be one of those things where, where they have been um in a relationship for years like a long-term situation it's come to an end here, and it feels like neither one of them really want to let go. They can see the end coming. Like they know that this is where they're supposed to be closing out this cycle, okay? But they don't want to let go. And they're both in misery, but it's like they, they fear this change, you know? Or they've been together for so long, they don't know how to spend time on their own. Maybe both of these people are, are codependent um, financially. And all they do is fight. Like, they fight, but yet they don't want to be apart from each other. And um, even though they're both miserable, I just feel like it's just become a way of life for them now. You're out here in Empress Energy, okay? Okay. Um, you could even be a public speaker because I'm seeing this as like a microphone in your hand. But yeah, you're in Emperor, Empress, Emperor, Empress energy, very financially stable, abundant, okay, independent. You're not codependent on anyone. You're walking alone here. And um, you're about to get a new soulmate connection, okay? <laughs> I'm hearing something about putting your dancing shoes on. Um, I actually, you know, I'm hearing it twice. It's in a song, but it's also on some kind of TV scene. So, yeah, put on your dancing shoes. You're about to have a two of cups, a new person coming in. I feel like this is the, whoever this is in this toxic situation, I feel like there's a masculine who wants to be honest. They, they know that, that the situation's over. Like, they can just see it coming, okay? So they need to speak their truth. Savage days, oh, the savage days that they're in. You know, this is that situation, right? 
a lot of fighting. It could be getting physical. There could be some abuse going on, uh, verbal, mental, physical, emotional. Yeah. And I feel like you kind of predicted this was going to happen. All right. You called this out. You knew that it was going to go down this way. Or you're very intuitive. You could be, this is that microphone. You could have a public speaking platform. All right. Um, that could be a business even that you've started. Especially if you're intuitive, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head. Like you're absolutely correct about whatever it is that's going on between these two. It's almost as if you can see um, right into their situation or um, hear what they're saying or um, see the fights go down. It's almost as if um, you can you can like speak about details that you would have no other way of knowing if it wasn't for your intense intuitive abilities. All right. So they're seeing you, these people are seeing you as like um, very talented, very skilled, very uh, psychic. It's kind of like blowing them away, okay? For real. I think everyone should try to find that thing that drives them and that they're passionate about because when you do, you wake up in the morning with joy. Yeah, see, this is telling me that you're in your purpose. You, I, I feel like you're a divine feminine energy, possibly a light worker, somebody who's really tapped into the divine. And with that microphone in your hand, I feel like you're, you're um, talking about the messages that you're getting, right? You're sharing with other people the intuitive visions that you're having. And it's literally spot on, perfect to a T of what these people are going through right down to the things that they're saying, the things that they're fighting about, okay? And it's making them fight even more, I'm getting. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm hearing it's making them even fight more with each other. Somebody could be overindulging in things too, um, or this could be the kind of stuff that they're talking about you behind your back because they're mad. I feel like, um, especially this karmic, this karmic is extremely mad. I feel like this masculine wants out, but still, both of them, when they think about leaving each other, they get scared, and then they just continue to stay together and fight. Yeah, you're getting out there. Uh, you could be dating again, pushing or, putting yourself on the dating scene, right? You, you're out having a good time. Um, playtime is really important right now because it helps keeps, uh, keep those vibrations very high and spirit wants your vibrations high right now because this is a manifesting time and they want you to be manifesting in a positive mindset. Okay. So having playtime, getting outside in nature, getting grounded, going out and doing fun things, whatever it is that makes you feel good. Okay. Um, I feel like that's what you're doing. Yep. You get up in the morning, you're, you're happy and grateful for the path that you're on. You're grateful that you're in your purpose. It's making you very abundant as well. Um, yeah, I feel like you're feeling really good. You feel enthusiastic for new things. These people fear change and you like are inviting it in. Okay, a complete and utter difference in energy. I feel like that's what spirit's trying to tell me here. Your energy isn't matching at all. Okay, this person or whoever this couple is, um, they fear improvements on their life they 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 don't want to break away from any toxic tendencies they don't want to um, try to heal any addictions um, they're too codependent to leave each other they live in constant daily misery nothing but fighting because they don't want anything to change right you you're inviting change into your life you're ready for change you're bold you're facing the changes fearlessly 
And because of that, you're out here winning. Okay, what is this one? Will be safe and loved. Yeah, you will be safe and loved. I feel like you're protected. This is what the divine wanted for you this whole time. Okay, um, I feel like they wanted you safe. So they kept you in isolation. They kept you out of a karmic situation. When, um, when things got too crazy, they, for some of you, they picked you up and they moved you out, right? They, um, maybe you've been on a, uh, you've gone through a house move, a location change, right? They got you out of a bad situation and in, and out of harm's way. And now you're about to be loved. And I feel like you're about to be loved by many. If you have been put in the public eye, you're really good at what you do. You're really freaking skilled at what you do. And uh, as an intuitive, you're very correct, very accurate, right? Spot on. And I feel like everybody is, uh, you're attracting attention to you because of your skills and abilities and your energy and people are loving what you're doing. So you're getting a lot of love possibly from people over the internet, around the world. I feel like you have some kind of platform, maybe some kind of website or blog, right? Or just very popular, like on social media, maybe. But I know that you're putting the visions you have and the intuitive messages you're getting out there, you're putting them out there for people to see. Because this pe these people over here, think they're thinking that everything you're talking about is about them. Um, but here's the thing. The things that you're saying are absolutely true. I, I, and I, I, I'm just, I feel like they're really upset. You know, I've, this, this could be what this overindulgence is, right? It could be an addiction. I feel like these people are also addicted to watching you because they're amazed at how accurate you are. All right. Yeah. Looking for a new place. Yeah. See, some of you, some of you are um, in the process of moving into a new location or a new home or an apartment. Okay. Because spirit wants to keep you out of harm's way and things are blowing up with this karmic situation. And both of these people are focused on you. So I feel like if it hasn't happened already, you're going to be um, possibly led to make some kind of location change. You're, you're going to be moving. Okay. It's in, it's in the future or um, taking a vacation. Spirit just wants to get you out of harm's way because these people are about to get hit with some heavy karma. Okay. Um, and I, it's just, it's, it, they keep saying they want to keep you safe and protected get right you know pay, like this is saying pack your bags pack your bags get your vacation plan started today they're picking you up and they're moving you someplace else at least for now getting you out of the way of this karmic storm because it's savage it is it's it's a savage karmic storm and the divine wants to keep you protected okay in the meantime you are um, attracting new people, soulmate connections. You're attracting new opportunities to yourself, like a magnet. Okay? And I feel like that's all part of keeping you safe, away from karma, away from karmic storms, and keeping your vibes high. Because when you're vibing high, you're attracting positive things to you not negative ones okay so playtime and things that um things that you like to do those things are necessities right now necessities okay uh because the 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 happier you are the the more positive things that will all be coming into your life okay you're attracting those kind of things all right, so what else? Yeah, select means carefully chosen. I feel like you are a chosen one. All right, that's why spirit is um, keeping you safe, 
leading you to raise your vibrations, putting you on your path and in your purpose, making you abundant, putting the microphone in your hand. Okay, I feel like you are definitely a chosen one. A light worker, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. There's a lot of people out there who need help as far as receiving some messages from the divine and guidance. I feel like you're a leader and you have these brilliant gifts that spirit is um, making you show to the world. Okay, so yeah, you're either already on some kind of platform telling people about your experiences, right? How you healed how you progressed and leveled up. You know, you're sharing pretty much all of your predictions, right? Um, any messages you get from the divine, these are all, it's, a, it's part of your brilliant gifts. You are so tapped in, like psychic, okay? Um, highly, highly intuitive. Well, but it's also because, you know, you have god-given gifts because you've been carefully chosen um the divine has carefully chosen you for this path and this is something that makes you feel good it's something you're passionate about it's something that drives you okay it's a it's a project or a job or your business um spirit brought you to all of this i feel we need each other. I feel like this is you co-creating with the divine. Here's the thing. <laughs> These two people are codependent in a toxic way, okay? All there is is fighting, nastiness, um, arguments, misery. But you, I feel like you depend on the divine. You depend on the divine. And the divine has a job for you to do. So you're, you're, not, you're not codependent, but you're co-creating. There's a big difference. You're co-creating with God, and these people are codependent on each other and an addictive lifestyle. So, yeah, it's <laughs> kind of a deep reading, you guys. Men in the mirror, I feel like um, everyone is being urged to take a look at themselves. These people have to take a look at themselves. Everyone is expected, expected to do that spiritual work, right? I feel like you have. You have. You listened. You had unwavering faith. Unwavering. Okay? You were loyal and dedicated to the divine and your path. And this is why you're out here winning now. You're having this victory. Okay? These people over here are just stuck. Stuck in just a karmic mess. Refusing to accept change. The night. Oh, oh boy, somebody doesn't see something coming. Um, you could possibly be a Taurus, Aries, maybe a Virgo. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, somebody doesn't see something coming, but this could be you um, getting new love, all right? Nothing is more satisfying. Bleh. It's so late, you guys. I'm sorry. Nothing is more satisfying than blazing your own trail. Okay, so I feel like, um, yeah, you're moving on. This is giving me chariot energy. You could be a Cancer. Um, you could be a Gemini. I feel like you're a divine feminine, possibly, who's moving on. And you're about to get new love. Um, you don't know it, right? You're moving forward, not knowing um, what's going to happen next, right? You can't see what's going to happen in your future unless spirit is showing you. But um, honestly, you don't see this coming, but you're headed straight towards a new connection. So you're about to get abundance, love. Uh, you may even be in the spotlight. Yeah, and this new person that's coming into your life is going to have all of the qualities in somebody 
that you have been hoping for or wishing for. Okay, they're going to be loyal, dedicated, there for you. They're going to be attentive, right? You're going to be able to trust them. You know, this person's going to be your rock. It's going to be like having a lover and a best friend. So, yeah, this is the one for you. I'm kind of getting the sense that it may be a displaced masculine energy coming in. A dis like a displaced divine masculine. Feats of daring. Oh, boy, somebody is going to be... This is kind of... To me, it feels like um, fool energy, right? Somebody just... You know what? They see you and they just go for it. This, whoever this is coming in, they're not going to be able to resist you. They're going to want to meet you and talk to you right away, right away when they see you, okay? So definitely somebody new coming forward. Yeah, and I, here's the thing. You may have a lot of people that are going to want to date you in the future. So I feel like you need to just use your discernment. It says here, questions to ask yourself before choosing. So make sure that, um, you know, don't jump into anything too quickly, right? Don't jump into anything too quickly and um, use your discernment. Look for all the red flags. Use that highly lit intuition that you have, right? Um, not every person that comes towards you is going to be for you, right? So, yeah... Just take your time and don't, do not let anyone rush you into anything, okay? Yeah, look, you're attracting so many new, you're attracting new people, new options, new opportunities to you. This is um, Empress, Emperor, Energy, Divine Feminine, okay? So, yeah, I, I feel like get ready. Your love life is about to be popping. I kid you not. That's why this is out here. Their spirit's trying to tell you, you know, um, you know, make sure you know what it is that you want and don't jump into anything too, too quickly and use your discernment. Okay, there's going to be a lot of a lot of people that are going to want to approach the empress especially in the energy that you're in, that, um, that strength, that independence, uh, that confidence that you're in right now, it's so attractive to so many people. And you may not even realize it. But, I mean, just wait, man. It's, your love life's about to get nuts, okay? <laughs> Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you like this vibe, join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.